assuming, let us say, assuming one is target something, what will happen? They will have gone as well as they will have gone. Then assuming this is where the money of the Lord said, no Moses, we are the one that are right here. We know this is better. So just be quiet, we know how to do it. I don't know if you have gone somewhere and said it. You want to learn something and they will see that what is in their mind and they will come to it. They want to do it for you. Better than all they are, obey and they need a You may be more than sitting here. All that you need is what? Better than all they are. Or you may be the best lover of all the absolute here. You need Moses to get that friend from Shri, but at the end, it will not be defeated that it was designed to protect me as the Lord commanded. So for, 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 for me to come up, I'm going to do the passing. The passing in the instruction and the passing in the instruction must have an understanding. And maybe if I can bring in the practical thing. What will happen on site at the Cosmic Center here in Egypt is that more connectivity will be related to us that will be a problem.
portals are suitable for Uh, Mix LR, which is the radio arm, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Telegram. These are the ones that we will focus on. At the relay centers, the setting of the relay centers will be based on either FCS units, will be rally units or zones, but not more than 200 participants per relay centers. And this one is just because of the COVID-19 uh, uh, protocols. The venue facilities for adults and youth, while children will be separated also for Bible study seminars and games. So most of the things will be done fiscally at the relay centers. But we will be sending all the necessary information and you will connect and you will have feedback. Uh, when other teams come, they will tell us why we need some of the gadget that we need for feedback. For instance, uh, let me use uh, OJK come trouble me so much. OJK will not be happy if he didn't see where we flash maybe Adamawa area, like that, you understand? But if you don't have a feedback system, we will not be able to flash you. They will come and explain that one uh, better. The media committee brings on board different people with different skills. And that's why some of us are here and we will learn and learn and continue to learn. Uh, we told you about the basic uh, facilities that you need at the relay centers. Um, the other team members will come and explain all this. When we talk about good public address system, you remember yesterday how there was a struggle because of the, just say mic, and it can be quite frustrating. We need issue of good sounding. Uh, this one, professionally, the sounding here is not the best. The place is too open, and you can see that keep bouncing back. There is a way it's being arranged, so they will come and explain that one better. Uh, cable and decoders, they will come and explain all this one. Um, a television set, connecting cables. Um, you saw Bro Haruna was trying to install a cast and so that you can connect it to TV. And least I forget, when we talk about projector, remember we mentioned the projector, projector with high resolution, not less than 3,500 uh, 3, lumens. You could see how clear this projecting is being projected. It's because of the high lumens. The higher, the brighter. If it were before, I remember when the projector started coming, 1,200 1, lumens, it's for life, both it then, uh, we will go for a program, we'll have to carry blankets anywhere we go. There was a big box for blanket. All these windows, as we mean, it's for before, you say, no, we can't, we can't, we can't use this one because no matter how we block all this one, the rain that will come, we will not be able to see something, you will be stretch your eyes. So technology is advancing, and the higher the lumens, the better. You can have a big projector that is looking bigger, but the lumens may be <laughs> low. Uh, some of the projectors are very small like this. Uh, there's one I wanted to buy. It's a very small portable. You can just hold it in your hand, but it's very powerful. So uh, Tim will come and explain some of these uh, details that we need. Now, we have samples of various social networking sites to explore. It's an opportunity to reach virtually. We have so many of them. And you remember, I told us the one that we will just use. These are the ones that we will just use for this conference. Zoom, MixLR, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Telegram. But for us to have an understanding of how the world is going, I want to just show us some samples of other social media. Uh, you may go to another country. Some may not fit into Nigerian system, but the way it is going, 
we need to be ahead. We need to take the lead. Even if we are teaching, we're explaining, we need to know that there are things like that and it will help us. So we just run down. The first one is a Facebook of which most of us, we know that one. Every month, we have 1.59 billion people that are using Facebook monthly. And this is easily the largest social network site in the world and one of the most widely used. And the person is just, who designed this is just getting cool money. Recently, Facebook has lost the trust of a million to its users by allowing third parties to access to over, uh, over 87 million users' personal data. And for that, if you see, if you are using your Facebook now, there are a lot of securities that are coming again where you need to, so that, you know, the hackers are there. They know that there is a big opportunity. So if you have not locked your own, it's good that you, you try to have put that security so that nobody can come and hack your, your, your Facebook account. WhatsApp, number of active users per month, it's 1 billion approximately. Despite having been acquired by Facebook in 2014, this instant messaging platform exists as an independent entity. Just imagining the number that we are having if we go on social media. We have this one, QQ. The number of active users per month is 853 million approximately. Uh, they used to call it uh, Tencent. QQ, more popularly known as QQ, it is an instant messaging. It's a chat-based usual uh, social media platform. It's become international with more than 80 countries using it after it was launched in China. Uh, I, I didn't know, I bought, so I bought phone and there are a lot of things that were there. I didn't even know the use, not knowing that it, uh, they, it is even pre-installed to help me even make things even cheaper and better for me. Because I didn't know. I thought it was just maybe, just a sign. They are just there. I wanted to uh, and install it and you could, I couldn't even uninstall it. So I just disabled them. So it was when I started study, I said, ah, so this one, instead of me to pay money to download this, I just need to activate it. Some are not friendly, some in Nigerian context, some you can't even use it, but some you can. It's just that we don't know. We have uh, WeChat, number of active users per month is 697 million approximately. And some of us have been using this uh, WeChat. This is an all-in-one communication app for messaging and calling similar to WhatsApp. If you know how to use WhatsApp, it's a similar, the features are the same. We have Qzone, number of active users per month is 640 million approximately. Like QQ and WeChat, Ozone is yet another social networking service developed by Tencent. It's having that a similar features. So if you know how to use some of these things, you see that you will not be able to, uh, you will be able to manipulate it because they have a similar uh, features. We have uh, Tumblr. Number of active users per month is 555 million approximately. Having been owned by Yahoo since 2013, uh, Tumblr serves as a social media micro blogging platform that can be used to find and allow things that you like. It's more of a searching engine. We have Instagram uh, having 400 million uh, users monthly, approximately. Instagram was launched as a unique social networking platform that was completely based on sharing photos and videos. Uh, young people, they like this thing. Uh, because it just shows short videos and uh, pictures like that. They just get it, they go for camera and you see them just doing selfie and like that. And before you know, they put it on, on, on Instagram. We have Twitter, 
I think if you know Trump, you should not tweet her. <laughs> uh, as, as if it's becoming a, a political social arm now. Mm, app. Number of active users per month is 320 million approximately. Even in Nigerian uh, social media, you will hear that they tweeted this thing from this and it's becoming a social, a formal uh, thing that is being adopted uh, uh, in social media to communicate formally. As if it's for high class, it's not for, it's for everybody. Uh, we have uh, Google Plus. This one, they are working on it. They are trying to upgrade it. At a point, you could not access Google uh, uh, Plus. Having over 300 million uh, users monthly. We have Beidou Teba. Number of active users per month is 300 million approximately. Offered by Beidou of China is a search engine. You can search a lot of things and you will get it. We have Skype. Number of active users per month is 300 million. And this one, it's owned by Microsoft. It is one of the most popular communication-based social networking platform. If not because of Zoom and uh, WhatsApp that is trying video call, but more at a point, and even now, um, most of the formal communication, if they want to talk, is can I Skype you? We have Viber with 249 active users monthly, approximately. This is a multilingual social platform which is available for more than 30 languages. This one will help you. Like, we uh, went for, for programming in Cameroon and, uh, you know, I was just confused. Uh, when they were just calling, small thing, messy, 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 messy like that. And my late wife's name uh, was Messi. So, you know, with the moment they call, I was just turning, turning, turning. But assuming I have this app, it could have just helped me to translate it for me. We have Sina Weibo uh, with 222 million active members monthly. This is highly popular microblogging social platform in China that is known for hybrid mix of Twitter and Facebook features. They brought the Twitter and Facebook uh, features together. This is the Sina Weibo. And most of the funds it's coming, you will see this one in it. We have Line with 215 million active users. This is globally available messaging social networking that enable you to share photos, videos, and text messages, even audio messages or files. We have Snapchat with 200 million users. This image messaging social platform that enable you to chat with friends by using pictures. Uh, it's close to Instagram, but this one, the picture they sharing, it's, it's somehow easier and it's lighter. We have YY with 122 million users. This one is a video-based social networking platform. We have Vicontecte VK. The number, it's uh, having over 100 million users. It's the largest social networking platform in Russia. And those of you that are claim, uh, trusting God to go to Russia, you may need to have that one. We have uh, Pinterest with over 100 million users monthly. This is still an issue of uh, where you use photo sharing and visual bookmaking on social media uh, site. We have LinkedIn. This is the one that is more on a, for professionals. Uh, very few people join this one because it can be looking boring. This one, it's like activity you do more on professional basis. And people can easily connect like TSCs um, or our staff and associate if we can join uh, this LinkedIn, it can help us. Somebody can just connect you and can even call you to come and facilitate because of your profile and the things that you put there. Even for job application, young people that are looking, applying for job, 
But if you are on LinkedIn, because it will show, and somebody can just search and can just be following you, and you can just be invited for an interview, job interview, and just for formality. We have Telegram, which is having a similar feature with that of WhatsApp, but it's having a bigger capacity in terms of the membership. We have Reddit, uh, having over 100 million users monthly, approximately, and this will enable you to submit content and later vote for, 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 for such content. We have Teringa with uh, over 75,000 million, user, um, um, million users. And this one is a platform in Latin America that allow one to share the experiences, content, and more. We have Foursquare. And this is social search uh, discovery based on social media platform that enable you to find ideal places. We have Renan with over 30 million users, and it's one of the largest uh, social network sites in China that is a literary platform for everyone. It's as highly popular with the youth due to similarity that it's having with Facebook. We have Tact with over 25 million uh, uh, users approximately, and this one is based on friendship and dating. Young people, you may not even know that it just, it, you may just see it. that's where they do all this uh, dating stuff. It's uh, the app that they use. We have Badu with over 20 million approximately. And this one, it's operating in over 200 uh, countries. And then we have MySpace with over 20 million uh, uh, users. This one is more on the issue of uh, focusing on uh, music and social networking. We have Mix, um, discovering new content that uh, you will love. Officially launched in 2018, Mix and Previous Life as another well known as platform Stumble Open. We have Dots. Uh, this one, it helps everyone to involve in creative process content and collaboration, commercialize helping, which build stronger, more profitable, and diverse creative sectors. We have Kiwi Box, commonly based on social networking sites, especially for those who live in New York. We have Skyrock. Uh, is a French social networking site that offers its users for free and personal web space to create and post blogs, add profiles, and exchange messages. We have Delicious. This is leading social bookmaking services. Having been launched in 2003, Delicious is ideal for story, sharing, discovering, web making. It also allows users to tag them with any keyword. We have uh, uh, Snapfish. This one, it's a photo sharing and with unlimited storage. We have Reverb Nation, which they call uh, RN. This is ideal social network for platform for musicians. Uh, Steven, I think uh, he, you may like that one. Oh, Steven has gone up, okay. We have Flickstars, is an American social network site for people who love movies and want to connect with like-minded. And you see a lot of young people who like to join this one. We have case two. This helps to activate and connect around the globe with similar individuals, businesses, and organizations that are making an impact on society. Uh, for instance, the social arm of FCS can join this one. We have uh, Cafe Mom. Uh, this one supports the networking website for mothers and mothers to be. It's more for female, mothers and mothers to be, where they can mentor. If we don't have Christians that are there, Christian mothers, they can mentor them to do something that is not good. So that's why we are presenting this. It may look boring, but you can have the, you will have it so that you can now understand. We have Revly. This is a community-based social network that is targeted at people who are interested in fiber art 
such as spinning, knitting. So you may have some skill, a free crater. You may need this one. You have people, and you may even have people that are looking, okay, how can they donate this thing? How can they treat, uh, train young people on issues like this? Then we have next door, this uh, social uh, uh, network, usually uh, based in, in US, it's like what we call door-to-door -door campaign in Nigeria. We have Wine is a travel and a lifestyle-based social networking platform and offer its users the ability to discover where to go. You will not get lost and it will give you an understanding of anywhere you want to go. We have uh, Cellophone, a social gaming, uh, which can be easily assessed on the move. And there are different games that uh, you can get on this one. You have YouTube, of which we use um, the world largest video sharing social networking. And some are watching what we are doing live here as we are presenting. Uh, it's like, uh, what did we take for breakfast? Was there milk inside? Was it a beverage or tea? Uh, okay. Now can we just stand up? Okay, so it's, it's a hybrid. Okay. Um, at least I know how to sing this song. Mini mi para para, mini mi para para. I say, mini mi para para do. Is that okay? Mini mi para para, mini mi para para. You have to do the way I am doing it. Mini mi para para, mini mi para para. Mini mi para para, mini mi para para. Mini mi para para, mini mi para para. Para para, mini mi 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 para para. Mini mi para para, 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 do. Thank you very much. The upstream is more for professionals, uh, which now can help bring about your professionalism. You have different professions that you can fit into. Some of us study different courses in schools. And we have a common goal that we do, but still, if you can join this professional aspect, maybe as an engineer, there are some things that you can learn that you can even bring into the ministry that will help you. We have classmates allow users to find, connect, and keep in touch with friends, just like the name called classmates. We have my heritage. This is online genealogy, a social platform which support more than 42 languages and empower its users to create family trees. Uh, some of us now, if you ask your children, what is the name of your great great uh, grandfather? They don't even know. Me, I know. <laughs> okay, you, you don't know. <laughs> So this one will help you, my heritage. Why you can build a family. <laughs> you can go and find out. <laughs> uh, when somewhere else this. No, there, there, uh, f there's already built up different uh, uh, patterns where you can fit into so that you don't get lost and it will be there. It will be saved. Then if, uh, there are a lot of people that may be there, assuming that like you now you say you don't know. Assuming most of your people in your community that are connected, somebody may be able to identify the one that you are missing. 
We have Viadu. It's an online business based social networking site that help business people. This is a business uh, app. We have Zing, professional social networking sites to offer features that are similar to LinkedIn. It's a more of professional. So you see just very few people that are joining into this one. We have Zanga, this blogging based social networking platform, hosts web blogs, photo blogs, and social uh, networking profiles for its users. We have Live Journal. This is a Francisco based social networking site that is available in Russia and some of these parts of this country. We have a uh, uh, Friendster, a previous social networking site that find friends and stay in touch. But now it's a social gaming networking for game lovers in Asia. And you may be surprised, these are the ones that young people will uh, try to put. We have this one, Phony uh, or Die. It's a community social uh, website aimed at bringing together the funniest people. If you want to hear and see funny, funny things, it's uh, this uh, Phony or Die. We have the uh, GIA online. It's an enemy-themed social networking and forum-based website. It gives users access to avatar, virtual world, games, and so on. We had it. It's a photo sharing social media site, even by the name. We have Boosnet. These social media sites allow users to share content on basis of their professional interest in the form of videos. We have Deviant Art is regarded as the largest online social networking community for art lovers and artists. We have Flickr, this is another highly popular photo sharing website. We have Meet Me, formerly known as My Airbook. Meet Me is aimed at users who want to find new friends and chat with them. This makes it highly popular among teens and young students. If we are not part of this, they may go and meet people that, are, that will spoil all that we are doing. Bro Haruna was giving us an example. Meetup, this social networking portal enables you to find a group of like-minded people who have similar interests to you near your locality, where in the world, anywhere in the world. Some, they will just ask you, okay, assuming you read books, which type of book? Like that, okay, I like travel, I like this one. So the machine will search and will bring that kind of people. We have thought this is uh, a networking called micro blogging platform that allows you to view and share videos that are 15 seconds long, just very short. This is Mixi, it's a popular Japanese social network service that uh, around 20 million active users enable you to connect with the friends and loved ones in a convenient way and even based on your areas of interest. We have Dobon is a Chinese networking site that uh, has something registered as well as unregistered users. It enables registered users to record information and create content based on music, themes, books like that. We have Verox. This is a social networking for anyone who loves anything enough to share. It won't control over. It won't control over who they share with, just like you do in a real life. We have uh, Cora. Is a special, this is a place where people can share and gain knowledge by asking and answering questions. We have Spreely, is a social media platform that is free from censorship and free from shadow bans. We have Discord, is one of the most popular platforms right now with over 250 million. This is designed for gamers and voice to text chat. We have TikTok, and most is coming on our phone. You have short, 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 short clips like that. We have WT Social, which was launched by uh, Wikipedia and co-founder of Jimmy Wells. We have Thrillers. 
it's a fast becoming the hottest and new app that is direct to competitors to TikTok. We have Alpha, it's a unique social network for women in tech to, to, to talk easily and candidly online, where they can pour their heart. We have you boys, a new social networking apps that they hope to uh, prevent online friendship. You have Pobase, it's a platform that creates a virtual version of the users, which then help to engage the fans through users generated content. It will like can cartoon you, can do some things like that. We have Pinot connecting women across fertility and motherhood. We have Valens, it's a social network and community for connecting black professionals together. This may sound racist in a way. A flip is a social commerce network for fashion niche. This is a house party launch in 2016. It's uh, aimed at face-to-face -face communication. We have Caffeine. It's a relatively new in social media platform that is, uh, it's a live streaming. We have Steamit. It's a, uh, a social network that reward its users with cryptocurrency. Uh, they have lifted the ban, I guess, now on the issue of cryptocurrency. Yeah? That's what I, I saw. I think they have lifted. Okay. Good reads. You can join Digital Book Club. Like FCS, we can have this one and look at it where we can have young people that can read. We can give them portions, like Bible study, like uh, our daily devotionals. Uh, we can have some good books, like, like small, short, small, small books that can help. Uh, like this, Mary Joseph by Simon Roda Udenyi. We have Twitch, which is surprising successful largest decade. Twitch has become a heavy heater in the social media. It's a live streaming. Caring Bridge is a unique social media that offer very valuable services. I'm more focusing on the issue of connecting people. Uh, what part am at amateur and professional writers? Those that are, why is DRD? Uh, DRD can, can, can look at this one. Uh, no, director of literature. Yeah, yes, literature. Mm. So what part can be, can help? It can help one to write. The crunchy crawl, fans of Emmy and manga and Roma are likely familiar with this one. It's a social network that connects like-minded individuals with the type of connect they love. We have some cloud proof that you don't need to have record deal to build your fan base. It's more into the music. We have uh, Moko Space. Um, it's a continually involved in a stay up current trend. Platform space, meet the new people, strike on conversation and play. We have Coach Surfing. Um, this one aim at connecting travelers, friendly travelers. We have Itelki, this one most of comes on our phone. If I've ever wanted to learn another language from someone who is fluent in it. At a point you are told to learn like a Hausa or French or something like that. Yes, this is the, the app that can help you. The most of our phones comes with this, uh, this Itelki, you will see it. So it will help you to learn a language that you want to learn. Uh, we have Medium, it's a publishing network. Uh, director of Literature may look at, at this one too. We have Elo, it's a platform built for artists. And it will bring out the best. We have Vimo, whatever, you have a long professional form and you can join this one. We have Giphy. Uh, it's a fun platform devoted to art and, 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 and GIF, G-I-F. Yes, small, small, small things like that. And sometimes it's coming in our, on our phone. We have Tribe. It's a cloud-based platform for consumers to discuss their favorite brands. 
The Ralph Green Show officially launched in 2021 has become one of the most popular video sharing platform in China. We have Imgur is a photo sharing website. And we have Influencer. It's a network that's all about discovering new products. Then we have Theme Affinity, uh, movie lovers uh, will like this one. We have an open diary, a simply platform with the roots that go back to 1998. It was one of the earliest network in existence, continues to serve millions. This platform went through rough patch and open diary allow you to create a blog post that can share with others. We have Bubbly. It has a platform that revolves around the voice post. May I say that the world is filled with lost souls. Up to how many samples of uh, different social platforms, 97 that were presented, and so many of them. What do you do with it? Do you just keep it in your phone? Or we don't even know the use of it? What can you use in a way that will be able to reach virtually? The world is filled with lost souls. They are the people you see every day in your neighborhood, restaurant, market square, and schools. God wants you to rescue them from perishing in hell. What do you do with your phone? God needs you to be the voice, to be the pen, the means that you will warn them of the impending doom. Be the seed that will run after them and the hand that will snatch them from the jaw of destruction. One of the most effective tools that can be used to reach out to these lost souls is internet. There are places you cannot go, but with internet you can go. There are places time that you will not have. With internet you can do so. And sometimes like in the night, you may even have, uh, you have free data sometimes that is just rolling out. Maybe just five minutes you can take and post something. You don't know what that thing will come and change the life of, of that person. Maybe that is the only thing that that person is looking for. So that is the purpose why we have to take you through all these things. We have a big opportunity, a great opportunity, but with what? With many adversaries. May I say in conclusion, it may look as if it is not possible but it is what? It is possible. We may be afraid. Let's trust God. Let's give him the best. As the other team will come and they will show us some practical things. May God help us in Jesus' name. Um, can we take this song as uh, the other team members will be coming? Okay. Uh, most of my songs are <laughs> they're in my language. I, I sincerely wanted to learn how to, to sing a song. And they pushed me in FCS and they said that I must learn how to speak uh, I had to, to, to sing a song, and they knew my weakness, and I was the Bible study secretary then. We learned a song, and we came back, and we were singing a song, and I think we will sing it together. Is that okay? Okay. <laughs> Akoi she she mama, akoi she she mama, o she mama, o koi o koi o koi, odima ochu ye o koi. Can we sing it together? O koi odima ochu. Yeah, 
song uh, it was coming from so powerful uh, people were slain in the spirit <laughs> students were rolling on the ground there was that kind of a touch unfortunately unfortunately one year of our brother a copper just spoiled the whole thing he said that the song is completely wrong <laughs> But the good thing is that whether it was wrong or not, there was a miracle that took place in that day. <laughs> well, I, I, I really don't know. Um, Bro Haruna, who is coming? You are the one? Okay. No, no, no. He tried to teach us the correct one. It was not sweet. The anointing was no more flowing. So I think there's no need. At least that one. Uh, what? Well, maybe to help you, to help you. Uh, why help us? In our church then, there was nothing like speaking in tongues. They will even ban you. We could have just said it was a tongues that you were speaking. So for you, OJK, just know that that was a tongues for you. Okay. Because uh, the miracle took place in that, on that day. I don't know if you know the story of uh, Jesus and the chicken, you know the story. You know the story, OJK? That was the first story that OJK said he wanted to be with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fictional, but there are a lot of things that we can learn from it. During the time of Jesus here on earth and with his disciples, And the disciples came. You can come on and start connecting. The disciples came and they sat down together. And they said, Jesus, what is happening now? John the Baptist, they brought some things, good, good things. This one brought this one. What about you? They say, like, what now? I say, we want to eat like chicken now. Then Jesus told them, it's okay, you can buy chicken. Then John, they thought he would be the one that would go and buy the chicken. But he couldn't buy the chicken because Peter had interest to buy the chicken. Then Peter now agreed to buy the chicken. And when he went to buy that chicken, all the money that was given exhausted in buying the chicken there was no extra change and he was not happy so he now asked the man that was selling the chicken that roasted the chicken said can you remove one one legs of this chicken and he removed one one legs of the chicken at least he He said, ah, I don't know.
L-I-V-E stats, S-T-A-T-S dot com. www.internetlifestats.com, please. Please, are we on the same page? Can we see? I just want to make a, I just want to make a point there before we proceed, please. Are we there? Now let let me those of us that can that are not connected, please maybe you just follow along. First of all, let me say about two billion people visited Facebook today. What are they searching for? Content. In other words, if your content cannot put me down within three seconds, I have other options to switch into. Right? Uh, the great commission is to go into the world and preach to the people. These are people that are ready to join. People that are searching for content. In other words, people are looking for content. How then do we put them down? The beauty or the value of your content, it was, has, has the capacity to pin anybody down. So, so many people are doing video, targeting those, those two billion people coming online per day to browse. Question, what sets me apart? I believe when, when, uh, when Omotala comes, I believe she will talk about uh, SEO, that's search engine optimization. Search engine op optimization is, uh, it's all about when you type in, for instance, when you type salvation, Possibly billion people must have written about salvation. What makes your own pops up first? That is certain. That I, I believe what she wants to explain that more. Right? So what I want to talk about is this. In our relay center, what basically do we need? Certainly we need a camera. Now, in a case whereby we can't afford camera, what do we do? See, with this phone, I can connect this phone, make it a camera, make it also to be displayed on the projector for my people on the relay, in the relay center to see and follow along. All I need to say is this. Now, what am I holding here? First, this is, this is called a capture card. Capture card. We have two types of capture card. We have AV capture card and HDMI capture card. What is AV? AV stands for audiovisual. I think that's the one we're using for on this camera. It's actually there. I didn't carry it along. For this camera. No, no, no. The capture card is there. Now, this is HDMI capture card. What is HDMI? High definition media interface. Why? Right? Actually, we're using it on this other camera. This other camera, those of us that are following online, by the time we switch to this camera, it seems to be sharper than any, oh good. This is, this is a DSLR camera. Now, they have higher quality than HD. HD is just high definition. So this card, you use it with, with DSLR cameras, right? It is called HDMI card. So I think our second video card, I don't know if it's available, so that maybe they will send me, maybe we can see them and know the difference. Now, what does this do? You know, basically, uh, in science, I, I know we are told of transducer. What is transducer? Transducer is that, that which converts a signal from one state of a signal to the other. Like this microphone now, it converts my sound to electrical energy, you understand? So what this does is, this therefore converts the HDMI signal that's coming through here to USB. USB means universal serial bus. Actually, we may not need those terms actually, right? So we will need this first. Why to use it on this? Because the reason is this, I want us to connect this phone, to serve, okay, thank you, sir. 
I want us to use this phone to serve as our camera without connecting it using any wire, using any cable. That is, in our relay center, you, we, may need, we, are, we, may, we may need you to feed us with picture what's going on in your center. This becomes your camera. Maybe all you need is to find a tripod and have it fixed, right? It can serve as a camera as well, serving as what you project for the people to connect to what's going on. You understand? Now, the second thing that you need is called cast. Yes, cast. C-E-S-T. This one, I think I got, we got this one for 9,000 Naira here. But I bought my own in Abu Dhabi for 14,000 Naira. That's the HDMI card, capture card. Yes, and we bought 9,000 here, sir. Then the cast, I bought this one. Actually, we went to buy it the other day. The day I bought this one, the lady said it's 14,000. Yesterday, I was so surprised. I went and they sold it for me at the rate of 6,000. Actually, not in the same shop. I bought this yesterday. So, we are going to see how do we connect this. That's the cast. To serve as our camera and to also serve as our TV to be seen what uh, the team is sending. That's what's going on, actually. All right. Uh, all right, sir. Now, for, for the sake of this demonstration, we will connect it to our projector so that to be seen what's going on now. This, what this camera is showing us, I want it to be a projector. You understand? And I want also them over there, that's the media. To, I want me to be giving them a picture of what's going on also. It sounds confusing, please. All right, all right. All right. Okay, the camera. Button. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So, what this cast does is this cast, what it does is all right, what the cast does is is it provides you with a Wi-Fi connection that you can connect your phone to it wirelessly. This is the signal. This thing you are seeing. Yes. It has a Wi-Fi ability. I don't know why they didn't make it RFID. RFID is radio, um, radio frequency, uh, that's ID, identification. RFID travels, the advantage of RFID is it travels further. I can, I can, this thing can be here and this phone can go like over 100 meters. It will still be communicating. But it's not using RFID, it's using a Wi-Fi connection. This one has a limit as to the distance. Uh -huh, you understand? So this one provides RFID for you to connect your phone with, right? Now, it comes like this when you buy it. This one is our output. You may, you may want to connect it to TV. You may want to connect it to, to, to a no, sir, for now. Please. Okay. okay, sorry. You may want to connect it to a TV. That's if your TV has HDMI port. But there are some TVs possibly in our relay centers that they don't have HDMI port. What then do we do? There's a converter, HDMI to AV converter, HDMI to VGA converter. What is VGA? VGA is this. This thing that we see. Some of our projectors, we may not have this, but we may have VGA. So what, all you need to do is to buy a HDMI to VGA converter. What is a VGA? Video graphic array. That's the full meaning. But actually, it's all those terms, they don't really matter, right? So what, what we do is, this is our output. We connect our output to the projector or the TV. You understand? But this one too needs to be powered. How then do you power it? The maximum 
power it takes is five gold. In other words, what you need to power it with should be between 3.5 to 5 volt. You know, our phone charger is 3.5 volts, right? 3.5 volt between um, 500 milliamp to actually, those are, those, they don't really matter. But all, all I'm saying is, you power it with either phone charger or if your projector has a, if your projector has a, okay, this is a VJ cable, sir. This is what we connect our. Uh, so, in case you are, you are TV or your monitor or your projector does not have HDMI port, you connect it with VGA and you have a HDMI to VGA converter. You understand? So, your HDMI to VGA converter is plugged here and then it gives you where you can slot in this. Yes, yes. So, but then there are some people that maybe in a in your relay center, you have like three TVs that you want to show at a time, right? There is um VGA to AV splitter. That is, you have it's my oh God. We did. Uh, sorry, that. Like yes, good, good. They have like three months. So you you have you plug in your here and then it gives you three good. So you now split your TV there. So now let us demonstrate this. This is my cast. I connect it to my. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, I connect it here. Check here. Sorry. This is a HDMI port. I can slot it into the HDMI port, but it's not powered. I need to power it. That's why here it has a USB port, right? So here it has where you can connect it. You connect it here, and then you power it with this. You understand? If you are, if you are, your projector does not have where you can slot it in USB, you can use your phone charger to power it. You understand? So now, automatically, it is sending signal. Yes. So what do you do? You carry your phone. First of all, you need to be, you need to be online. That's using the Zoom. You need to be connected to the Zoom, that's the ID that they send. So you carry your phone, you go to your Wi-Fi setting, Wi-Fi, you press it and hold it. So it will automatically search for this. Now you can see any cast, actually I initiated my connection before. That is the name, any cast 0088. So you click at it to connect. You understand? When you click at it, normally it comes to the default password. The default password is one to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the default password. Five, six, seven, eight. No, don't enter it. I just, I just want us to connect this device. So no. you understand? Now, as it is, this one is connected already. Now, uh, you can see, so you can see two people have connected. Please, if you have connected, can you disconnect? <laughs> okay, please, I help us disconnect. So now, now you see, if you are, this, if you are connected, for you, to, for, for you to have the app, you scan this barcode. Most of us, we don't have barcode scanner. You, you, are, you are expected to download a barcode scanner. How do you get that? You go to your Play Store, Play Store and type in barcode scanner. You see a lot of them. Just download one. Barcode. B A R C O D E. Are we together? Barcode. B A R space C O D E. Uh, barcode scanner. So, what this, do, what this does is it, it, it scans that, that is an encryption of 
the app. Yeah, different so, ones. Yeah, so you just download one. You download anyone what once. You understand where you download it and install it. You now open it. It will show you little box. It's ready to scan. So you now scan it on this. You understand? But if you cannot scan it, it is advised that you use the IP address. What is IP? Maybe I should come to explain more. IP stands for Internet Protocol. The IP address for this is 192.168.49.1. You may know it, 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 you understand? They call me different IP addresses. But for this one, I know it. It's 192.168.49.1. It's even there, I think. Is there? Good. So use the IP address using your browser to connect. You understand? But there are some phones, some sophisticated phones that comes with default cast. Like this one I'm holding has a cast. How do you know? When you slide it up, oh yeah, oh, that has gone off. You need to let me unlock this. Okay. Well, I'll show you this one now. Okay, but for now, it's okay. Okay. okay, I think I'm not doing this. Okay, sorry, it's like I'm not doing this. Password. Mm, uh, all right, I remember the password. Thank you. Sorry. All right, when you slide down, when you slide down, you see cast. So you now click at it. It's connecting a cast screen device. It's connecting. Sorry, it takes some seconds to connect. Okay, searching for device. All right. <laughs> yes, some techno too. Just slide down, you check. The saving for your cards. You will see the cards. No, just slide it down, slide, slide your phone down where those settings are. If your phone has a cast, you see. If you don't have cast, you can screen that. Test. Yes, Connected already. Wait. Okay. Don't connect first. So, from here. 
All right, can you see it's connected? So you can see it's phone. Hello? Who, whose phone is that? Whose phone? So, somebody has connected. Huh? It's your over. Good. So now you can join the Zoom. Where you join? On your camera and see. Uh, oh, three people are connected. So you understand? Sorry, I made a mistake by giving you the password. You're not supposed to give people the password. They'll be interrupted like that. You understand? So the password is meant to be. Are you still connected? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> is your connected? I'm connected. Okay, please. What other person should disconnect? Shut up. I forgot to this part, but you know, for the this part, the Zoom for the Zoom you can join the Zoom before. Uh, I'll watch it. Uh, all right, I will. Yeah, nothing. Nothing happened. Okay. Sir? Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, I will sit together. Yes, sir. Now, yes, we are connected. To... So please, if, if you have any question, maybe if you are finding difficulty in the connection, please maybe you raise your hand so that I come attend to you. So, sorry, while we try to establish this connection, uh, we'll try. We will be explaining the second option. Let me explain the second option. Please. And alternate. No, yes, you can download the app. There's an app that you can download. Okay. Connect with what? The phone that you can use the phone. How do you use the phone That is, you want you want your people to see what's going on. That's their people at the relay center. To connect to the TV now. That is this, you have to connect this to the TV. Yes. Any display. Now the essence of this is the essence of this is to help in amplifying what is going on here. The meeting is in Zoom and your Zoom is here. Our TV does not have Zoom. So this one helps in transferring what is happening on the phone to be viewed on the TV. You understand? That's just that's just the hope of the cast. Sorry, sir. So which one do we need? All right, sir. Good. The same thing. It's just different name. Cast, cast, screen from Android. 
Good. It's just different name. So, in case your phone does not have that cast, please you can download it. Yes, you can. You can just go to just go to uh, uh, Play Store, go to Play Store, and then search for Cast or Miro app. You see, so you see, he was mentioning different options: Cast to TV, Cast to screen. It's just different name. My question is: He said before on the Wi-Fi to connect to this one, you have to be on the Zoom. Now. If you have, if you connected to a network, sorry, uh, somebody's asking a question, sir. If you are connected to a network, yes, um, and then you decide to put on your Wi-Fi, automatically the network goes on. So the Wi-Fi now comes on. Does it not affect the the Zoom transmission? All right, thank you so much. Uh, okay, you said by the time that you switch on your Wi-Fi. My data on my phone. Mm. And by the time I switch off Wi Fi, automatically the data will go off. And leaving the Wi Fi to go. So, and if I have already connected to Zoom mm. using my Wi Fi, I mean, using my data, how do I connect, continue with the connectivity? Okay, good. You know, when, when you switch on your Wi Fi, your phone data automatically goes off, right? But once you, are, once you finish establishing the connection, you are permitted to come back and on the the data again. So you know, Zoom will automatically connect back. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes. 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 So how do you handle that? Because the phones are actually our personal phones, and you're going to use that to uh, send to your people. People they can actually call you, that appearance they can. So how do you handle that? All right, thank you so much, sir. Um, I don't know. I can only advise on this. Maybe. Uh huh. Good. Good. I'll suggest that. Sir, my suggestion to that, sir. Yes, sir. Is, my suggestion to that, instead of using our phone to connect, we can just use our phone to actually send that, but we can have Wi Fi. Okay, so good. We can connect the data to our Wi Fi, good. Add it to the phones or any other system aside from the phone to actually, uh, we can put the phone on flight mode, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, now, praise, the, praise the Lord. What he's saying to me, it's a very good. Now, by the time that you put your phone on flight mode, no call comes in. No, no network. All right, then you have a Wi Fi. A Wi Fi using any ISP. Maybe once you come to explain ISP was Using either your Wi Fi. You may have your Wi Fi or any. You understand? I wish together to avoid constant interruption of calls and. Yes. 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 Thank you. No, no, it doesn't. Have Thank you so much. Game mode, mode. I like game mode for do not install. Uh huh. So are we together? All right, sir. Sir. Okay, okay, good. There yeah, we have multiple options. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Then, and secondly, secondly, please. Now, another option is this in our relay center. Are we together? Please, on in our relay center. I don't know if we can afford it. Our advisor will get. As 
small as that, that, that little camera I see, that little, this camcorder, it's, in fact, it's sharper than this one. I think it's a bit expensive now because the demand is high. I think it should be about 28 to 30,000 now. You understand now, listen, where you get that, it may interest you also to know that most of the online meeting we normally host, we don't use microphone. It serves as our microphone and as, as our camera. That little thing you are seeing. You will know it's a camera. You understand? The fact is, it is sharper than this HD. Now, there are different, there are different grades of images. You do for the stability. Now, most times, if I, if, if, if I'm hosting program, I clip it in front of my laptop like this. So it's possible if you have a laptop and a projector in your relay center, you may hold it, clip it here, clip it at the, at the edge of your laptop. It has a clip. You clip it at the edge of the laptop to be showing the people that are watching and then be feeding us. Now, it serves as your microphone in case you want to hear anything from you, it serves as the microphone as well. Now, the advantage is it gives image in 1080p. There are different grades of images. There's 320, there's 480, there's 720. Now, this is this revolves between 420 and 780. And seven, sorry, 480 and 720. This is this one is a 1080p camera. The same thing as that. The resolution may be different, but that one is a 1080p camera too. So you may do yourself own your your relay center good to maybe get something like that. With that, you don't need any struggle. It's a PMP. PMP means plug and play. That is when you plug it, it automatically install itself. And when you check on the option of camera on your laptop, you see it there. So you just choose it. And then when you go to microphone, you see it there also. You activate it. And it's a unidirectional microphone. That is, it has the ability to cut off the noise that is coming from behind and focus on the sound that is coming before it. So that's another option. That um, webcam, actually, it's very tiny like that. I... Yes, sir. <laughs> now, there are different grades, but Logitech seem to be, actually, I'm not advertising for them, but Logitech seem to be more that's a Logitech camera. Those of us are following online. When you check, by the time that I show wider view, and it has a wider view, it has 3.3 mm. Those they, they are not necessary actually. That is, it has, if if I show, if I position it here, it can capture everybody standing sitting down. Yes, that one. If I should position it here, where I'm standing now, it will capture everybody here. Yes, it has a wider view. You understand? And if it's here, somebody speaking at the back, you can pick the sound. So our advice was if we can get it through, it will help. That's in our relay centers. Yes, that one. That small one. Aha, uh -huh, good. He said it's 30,000 naira. Do you understand that my, my guy said in just say it's 30,000 naira. Now with this, with that, with that webcam, you don't need you don't need card. Why? Because it's a P and P. P and P that's plug and play. When you plug it, it automatically installs itself and the computer recognizes it. So you don't need the card. Yes, with that one, with that one, you don't need cast, you don't need card. You understand? All you need is to connect it to a USB port and boom, it appears. Then if you want people to see, you now use projector so that people will be seeing what's going on here. That's all about that. Okay. All right, now, please let, let, me, let me connect this, this one back again. 
Uncle, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Careful, careful. All right. Now, um, let, let me power on this system. Before I explain the third option, the third option actually will be, now, let me, now as you can see, this is, can we, do we have Zoom here? Do we have Zoom? What are the Zoom answer? Babu Zumba. Okay, it has Zoom. Oh, please, Chase, we are connected already. Just connect. Go, go to what's going on online now, so that I will show it here. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Calling us. He's doing it. Okay. Don't move connected. Good. But he is not the one. No, say how you're connected to Zoom. Hey, okay. Okay. So, sir, yes, I've removed my cast. You are not. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll come back to that again, sir. We'll come back to that. So you can see how small the tin is. It's very small like this. Just like this. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to clip it to, to your computer, you turn this one and then clip it like this. And it has it has an infrared and LDR. What is LDR? LDR means light dependent resistor. In other words, it, it recognizes that the place is dark to adjust the brightness. What does infrared do? Infrared brings in light even in darkness. So even if this place is dark. You see, you see some green, some blue light here. That is, it brings in the infrared to shine, but it will show you in black and white, even if there's no light. So it has an infrared and it has an LDR. I said LDR means light dependent resistor. So it depends on light. It notice the place is dark, so it adjusts the brightness automatically. And it adjusts, it, it recognizes that. That's why sometimes when we are pining, I will get to window where, where it serves as a source of light. The light is too much. You see that it adjusts and brings some darkness to complement the overexposure of the window. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Please, sorry for... Anything. Oh, sorry. So I said, if you want to clip it to your computer, you use here like this and clip it. Clip. And if 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 you want to attach it to to a tripod, you use it has a where you can street to a tripod and then be panning. Okay. Huh? So this is the shoe of the tripod. You screw it here and then clip it to your tripod. Please, sorry for the. Let me. Okay, huh? You see, we are trying to we are trying to connect the zoom here. Thank you. All right. Join with this video. All right. This is us now. We are on. So you can see us. Now, I said it's a P and P. When you plug it, the computer recognizes it automatically. So I look for my okay, I look for my pod. Sorry.
I use my USB port. It's connected now. Now, when you go to camera option, oh, uh, yes. Uh, because but can you be seeing my mouse? Can you be seeing this mouse? Yes. Uh huh. Thank you. Now, see. I'm going to Okay. 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 Now you see here, when you click here, you see the camera. HD Pro Webcam C9200. That's, the, that's this cam now. Let me click at it. So, uh, can you turn me on? Bring me up. Okay. Okay, sure, sorry, sure you can see it. It's bringing this thing, asking you to install it. It's a PMP, I told you. So, so that the cam will see it. Sorry for the little delay. And the sound too, if you go, you see it here. Here you see the microphone. If you click at it, that is any sound, it will be, it will be picking our sound. Sorry, please allow, allow it to finish installing. Allow this to finish installing so that the, 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 the image can be crispy. Now, most of us, we, do, we don't normally know. Our systems, the graphic cards are not driven. If your system, the graphic card is not driven, the picture comes blurry and not pleasant to behold. You understand? But then how do you know if your graphic card is driven? That's one thing. Because most of the systems, they will give us headache. If the graphic cards are not driven. How do you know? When you place your mouse anywhere, you right click. Check at this display. Once you see graphic options, graphic property, can you see them? It means it's driven. Are we together? It's not driven. It cannot handle 1080p image effectively. You right click at any empty space on your desktop. Right click at it. You will see graphic options. In fact, display settings. Once you see display settings. And another way to check it is this. Open any file, any folder, I mean, sorry. Go to this computer. Some is my PC. Sorry, it's becoming... I was saying it, go to my, my piece, this PC, I mean. So you see this PC, just click on it. This PC, some you see up here, you see property up here. Some you will not see it, but you see this, this small box with a red tick like this. If you click at it, you see, you see this thing. Now, this thing now tells you the kind of system you are using. If you check, so you see Windows 10 Pro. You see Windows 10 Pro, you see the RAM is 8 gig, right? So how do you know, how do you check your drivers? Come up here by the left, you see device manager. Can you see? Device manager. Click at it, you see some things like that. Like that, like that. This, you understand? Now, the one that we're interested in is 
Oh, sorry, we're going technical. See this display adapter. Display adapter or monitor. They should not have, if it's not driven, you see yellow sign. This, uh, this road sign, the normally danger, they will do one triangle sign with a, but it only to be yellow. If it's not driven, you see it yellow like that. Are we together? So I think uh, this thing has installed. So can we proceed? So, um, uh, Zoom is up. All right. Sorry. Which kind is this? Banani? Okay, sorry. Sorry, it's not this clean. Sorry, please. Sorry, the port is. The port is, I don't know. Okay, it has come back. What's happening now? It's not showing it. It's not sh Sorry, it's not showing it. Let me check the setting. Sorry. Okay, good. Please, sorry for... Um, which other port can we use? Okay. Because it's not, it's not showing here. Huh? Because I'm using my channel. I got one brand new. It's like you're not, you're not even connected. What have you had? What does it see? Who trying to tell? Huh? No, 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 no. So we can't see this. So. Mm -hmm. Sorry, oh, I'm gonna is my system that we're using, but is your own connected to any camera? Huh? So please help, help us with your own. So please, we're sorry. See, does your own have uh, VGA? Your own has VGA. Oh. Sorry, we are, we are sorry we are having a challenge here. It's not displaying in this system. I don't know. So let's try.
is not true. It's not true. Sorry, I, I believe this is one of the challenges that we might face in our relay centers. So, so it, it's better we we have it tackled now. So um please we are very sorry. Um hi. Hi. Please let's promote your last let's promote your last The third option I'm supposed to use is but cleaning. Let, let me just use the energy mic cabinet first. And this is the same phone number. It's not a shoe phone number. Okay, this breaker is not good. How much are you connected to the Zoom? All right. All right, please. As I said, please. Uh, All right, I, I choose it as my camera. All right. All right. Then, then, I'm sure you can see. Let, let, me, let me put it on here. So. Okay, good. So this is it. Can you see? This is this camera now. I told you it's a player and play. Once you plug it, it sees it and it recognizes it. You understand? Now it it has autofocus. That is, if you bring it closer, it adjusts to reveal what's there. You understand? So this is it. Now this is the camera. I told you from here. If, if, if I bring it from here, it can capture almost everyone. You understand? So it serves as, it can serve as your camera as well as your microphone. That's this one. For feedback. Yes, for feedback. In case we want to hear anything from you. So now, that is this, let's assume this is our relay center and we are connected here. So these are the people, all, all, our, all I need to do is to turn the, the, computer like this here with a projector and then have this one clipped here if i don't have uh then adjust it set it to capture everyone you may be watching it here 
but we too are seeing you. In case we want, in case we want feedback from you, we say from center, give us feedback. The mic is on. You activate the microphone and you speak. Anyone speak, please. You want to ask, you want to ask questions. You want to give testimony. You want, you want to give testimony. <laughs> yes, sir. So this. Huh? That's the feedback. Okay. Um, so. Can we collect offering? <laughs> Wait, can we collect offering here? I think Omotela will handle that, that aspect. <laughs> Thank you so much. So that this is a second option. The second option we may use this. That's if we're having low budget, right? The third option is using something like this, like this camera. This is Rebel. They call it Canon Rebel, that camera. Rebel, as in R-E-B-E-L. Rebel. I don't know how, how they call it. Like. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, this does not work alone. It works with a card now in the case of using camera like this you will need a small hdmi and a card now the big hdmi is the normal hdmi cord so what we do is this the small hdmi is what the camera uses please angle can you no what we're not carrying necessary Okay, 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 good, good, good. Just bring, sorry, just bring, I want to demonstrate it here. So that to replace this other camera with this, to replace this one with this, uh, I will need the cable too. No, we, we need all of them. Thank you. Now, if you check here by the side, it has, this is the small HDMI. This one, this is the small HDMI. We bought it like this. It comes with this cord, this cord with two of this, that's the small HDMI and one other smaller HDMI. In case you want to connect your phone to. You understand? So you bought it like this. I think I forgot the money. I forgot how much about this. It's five thousand. Okay. You got to sell like three, four thousand. Yes, three, yes, three thousand five. Yes, I remember. I remember. So we, we got it at three thousand five. So what this one does is this this small HDMI because this is our normal HDMI cable now. So you slot in the small HDMI in here so that it will give us camera signal here. So there's a pod where you can slot it in. You slot it in here like this. Then the other end, the other end. The other end of this one, you connect it to a HDMI card, HDMI capture card, which is this. You connect it like this, then you slot it in and boom. Yeah. Now let's see. I disconnect this. I connect the. Rebel camera. <laughs> the rebel camera. Sorry, I was. Good. You connect it. I... Now, I activate my camera. So. I'm going back to normal mode today. Okay, take, let, let, let's use the other camera. Okay. Sorry, the battery went. Okay, good. So this one now, the battery's on, the battery's alive. If you just connect it, it's a P and P2. You connect it.
accessório. Okay. Uncle, look, look at any kind of number. Okay, good. When you connect it like this, you select the camera. Share it, see. This is the You see, it's this this is a DSLR, DSLR camera. It's sharper. DSLR. That's yes, single ray. Digital DSLR. Digital single lens. They are, I've forgotten the word sample. I forgot, but it's digital single lens something. I don't, it's not, you understand? So if the top option is if you're having a high tech camera that you connect with a cable to using the card to connect to your system. You understand? Now, you may not have DSLR camera. You may have an analog camera like this. They want to feed us. All you do is, it that it has its own card too. The card is connected actually. It has the own card. Do we like disconnect it and show it too? Please, maybe let's disconnect it. Yeah. Sorry. Now, that one too, you do the same thing, but the difference is that this one uses AV cable. It's just a cable difference and the card difference. So the system has camera. Yes, good. You can use the system camera too. Yes, you can use the system camera. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Or about that one. So please, with the same thing with that one, you connect it like that too. So that's all about the connection. I don't know if there's any question about the connection before. Yes, sir. Already in my system. Yes, sir. Just the normal connection rejected. And when you need to start or not, whatever you use in the phone to give you feedback, you can get better. All right, good. Please. That's, that's another, that's to me, that's another sweet option. But sometimes it's this for aesthetic sake. Most times you give us feed with your phone in portrait format. It's not looking pleasing. That, how, what is portrait now? You don't video it like this. You give us landscape. We want it in landscape. You understand? Please, whenever you're sending us feed, let it be in, la in landscape. You understand? That is if you want us to display it, too, let it just be on landscape. Uh, in addition to that, uh, sometimes it's difficult for us Know which is this center you are using all those matters about. So, one thing we would like to do is like in this hall, we can put the banner behind there. Uh, that it can capture the planet. All right, sir. Okay, uh, daddy said that. Sorry, daddy said that we don't put banner. And I want to suggest, oh, where are you looking? You register with the name. Okay. All right, sir. Sorry, another question before we. All right, that is it. Sorry. Okay, okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, finally. Actually. It's like there are a lot of things that talk about. But for now, one other thing again that I want to talk about is camera shot. Camera shot and angles. Seriously, we have a lot of issues with that. 
Most times our centers, I don't know, our centers may not be, you know, in as much as we are after the word, but you know, some things can put us off. There are a lot of things that contend with what's going on. In other words, there are distractions that take away the attention of people. That is, if you are showing me, and there are some things, some other images here, it takes my attention away. So framing matters. If it, um, there are different types of shots, maybe my friend will talk more about that. We have LS, lo anyway, long shot. <laughs> like if I'm talking to him now, if I'm this one down, I'll just tell him, LS, I want, I want uh, ECU, he understands. So that is, if I want to lay emphasis, that is, you know, when you're, when you're laying empathy, you, do, you wouldn't want any, anything to take away the attention. So you give us a shot that is closer, that fills up almost the frame. You, you understand? There are different types of shots. There are long shots, there are medium shots, there's establishment shots, there are a lot of them. Maybe my friend would say something about that. So that is, if you are giving us something, this is the kind of shot that we expect of you. You understand? If you want us to see that this is your center, long shot to me is better. What, what does long shot do? It gives you more information, lesser detail. What is more information? That is, if I, if, I show, if I give a shot that captures everybody, what is the information? The information is, ah, so many people are here. What is the detail that's missing? Who is actually this? How is the countenance in its face? You understand? But extreme close up shows us details, but cut away information. There are some things that sometimes we don't need information. It's the details that we need. You understand? Like if someone is asking questions, there's no need for long shot for me. You understand? Let it be. All right, this is the how that is, you know, sometimes you be there are some non-verbal communication. It is from your face, we should not this is eating you off. So those shots, maybe my friend will talk more about it. Give it up for Ambo. That's my wonderful friend. He's actually my senior in school. Thank you so much. Wow. My friend, it's a privilege also to be here. Too. I'm going to talk about short. I'm going to talk about short. We have short, camera short. Yes. Photography. Mm, photography. <laughs> yes. Short. Okay. <laughs> oh, when I say short, I mean uh, a short is what you take with your camera, what you snap, something that is not with your phone camera or with the camera itself. So we have basic type of short. We have the basic three types of short. We have the close-up short, we have the medium short, and we have the long short. Close-up short. And we have the medium shot, and we have the long shot. The medium shot, let me start with the uh, close up shot. The close up shot is started from the chest here, like this, up to the head. That's close up shot. And then when you are taking close up shot, you should be mindful of your head room so that you not cut the person here. Yes, you give a head room. And then you are, the person, the shot is going to feel in your screen that you are using either your phone or your camera. It's going to feel so that it's not, there are not going to be distraction, like you said. Like if someone is asking questions, these are the kind of shots that we expect to see. Well, when the, the guest speaker is preaching, that's the kind of shot that you give. While the medium shot you start, you start from the stomach below, a little bit that not at uh, the waist, above the waist, small. Yes, that. Yes, from the yes to up. Yes, mindful of the head from the space that you use that you don't cut the person. While the we have long shot, the long shot is going to show us the full the full shot of the person. 
from the head to the ground. Maybe you want to show us your altar now, and the guests that are sit down on the altar, you may decide to use the long shot now to show the entire stage, how you use the correct stage. That's long shot. And then long shot, and you can also use long shot now to establish the centers entirely. The camera may decide to go behind to capture the entire hall with the long shot. So I'm going to zoom out to show the entire setting of the, and the people that are gathered so for everybody to see. And then when someone is talking, like you also have extreme close-up. When the speaker is talking and is trying to make emphasis, you may decide to show a very tight close-up. Maybe you decide to show the person here, like from here, from here, like above the breast, to show more of the face. We need more of the face to show the facial expression. The way the person is exaggerating with him. And also, there's something we call looking room. For example, if uh, a guest speaker is talking and then it's facing this way, then the camera behind should be behind. There should, there should no space behind the person. The space should be in front of the person. Like certain, so that it's great looking room. That is talking to somebody. But if that didn't give space in between, it means that it's talking to somebody behind you. So there's a little bit distraction. This how it should be. No, just say okay, okay. This how it should be. Yeah, this is example of it shouldn't be like this. Okay. Nobody's yes. seen it, but <laughs> okay, that's looking room shot. So, so and also um, there's something called rule of thought. If a pastor is preaching and you stand like this, then you have to make your shot to the center, the space that that's when you give the medium shot. That's the space between the head and where you cut your medium shot should be equal. Your left and right should be equal. There should be a little space in between in case if the speaker decides to shoot left or right so that it may not go outside the frame. It also enables the cameraman to uh, pan slightly to follow him. Panning means to move left or right. Rule of thought. And also, there's something we are also talking about zooming. Zoom, for example, if you are on a medium shot now, and then you want to give us a close up shot, you have to, if you are zooming, because that, as you said, with lens, zooming, and with the lens, we zoom in. Lens, lens, we zoom in. Because if you are using, DSLR camera, you want to zoom, if I a medium shot, and for you, for, for you to avoid distortion like noise, then you have to zoom in slightly, very gentle, while you are focusing, in order not to, yeah. Yes, for example, you are holding the camera like this, on a medium shot, and you want to go back to closer shot, then you have to zoom in slightly, in order not to cause noise, because if you zoom is shaking like this, it will shake and then your audience may get at loss. That's noise. Yes, that's the noise. The shaking that the camera shake. Yes, it's the noise. Blurry. Or blurry, or it may be blurred. So when it's blurred, you have to focus. So by the time that you are zooming in very gently, then you discover it's not going to focus, it's focus the way it's going to disfocus if you zoom in fast. Yes. So I advise that if you want, you want to start, you may start with long shots because you have to first establish the entire place for us. When you establish the entire place, then what next? Then you go to medium shot. Medium shot, you'll be able to start identifying who and who is there. Because by the time you're on long shot, you may not be able to identify who and who. We are seeing the larger number. You may decide to see how many people you decide to count. But when you're on a medium shot now, you may decide to see who and who is there. Then when you're on the long and uh, close-up shot, now we see this is this person, this is what he's doing. So it's done. 
and then also we'll talk about this in light. And the camera itself. So that's it. And then we also have microphone. You know, like now, we're using this microphone. It's for you, for the audience and who are the center. We have something we call lapel. This is a lapel mic. We clip it here. And then this one, it can also connect to the camera in case if people don't have uh, to connect to other stuff that we do here. We have the mic port. Your camera has a mic port. In case if you are not using that uh, webcam that you show people, you can decide to connect your sound here directly. Yes, your camera has a mic port where you connect this mic. There is a cable, you will connect it to the system there. So you connect it here. So when somebody is talking, it's all the other noise will not be captured. Only the noise that the person that is talking will capture. That's why as you want this mic here, and only the person that stands here, the mic is capturing his voice. How much is the lapel? The lapel, yes. From, from now, 50 to 100, about 15,000. 15,000 above. 15, 15, above, yes. So, you need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and then also have, we also have reflector. So, example, if you do all your lighting and you're still not comfortable, okay, with the lighting, you have reflector. This is what we call reflector. Reflector will add sensitivity and texture to the face. You have to modify it, to beautify it. So when you hold it, the light will bounce on the person's face. It will add sensitivity, it will add color to the picture to look swag. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> so yes, to add more to look beauty, attractive to the eye. So and the reflector can also Comes be changed. Increase. It comes in different Silver. colors based on what you want to achieve. For instance, even if you don't have, even if you don't have your fill light, sorry, Shay said we have three types of light. Yes. Key light, which is what lights the subject, right? The fill light is to feed, to kill the shadow. Now, in case you don't have your, your fill light, this can serve as your fill light. That is, you have one light, you are lighting the person and you notice the shadow here, you come and position it to reflect some amount of the light that's coming yeah, back to him. Back to him. You understand? And this one too, it helps. That's the head the headlight. headlight. It helps. The the one of it's key important. It pops the subject away from the background. So uh, for instance, if you're having a background here, when you are looking, it it looks as if it's glued to the background. So what pops him out? It, this thing here helps and light the forehead, and so it makes him separate him from the background. All right. So and before we take our seats, okay. Yes. So lastly, again, we have this uh, memory card. Camera attached. Camera itself has a memory card. You need to get a memory card. The reason why I talk about the memory card is for photography. Let's say, for example. You able to want to snap them, but you already they were already passed. So if you are recording, you have to get the memory card that you will snap. So once you're able to you can snap pictures with the memory card is attached to the camera. This is where the card is. This is the camera memory card. 
So when you use the memory card, it's easier. Before, we know we, we are also known with tape. Some people use it, that was analog. When digital now, we are using digital camera, I use this memory card. So I can decide now to snap picture. When, immediately when I snap the picture, I will not take it to the media team. The media team can process it sharp, sharp, and then send it online. It's very fast. Instead of going, to, going home to start looking for tape, instantly, you can do that. Thank you so much. All right, as, as we take our seat, please uh, advise, however, to those from the relay centers that will be needing feedback from you. Honestly, one thing we pay much attention to is aesthetics. Aesthetics and action shots. There's something they call candid shot. Candid shot is you take somebody without him knowing. There are times that we'll be like, people should pray. You know, some people get into the spirit. We want those shots. The media team would like those kind of shots. Those are the shots that speak. You understand? Those are the shots that they send messages. So those are the kind of shots that we want. You understand? And if you are feeding us, please, as we said, we don't want any feed in portrait format. We'll just look at it and, you understand? So let it be in. And finally, beauty of every production is light. Once your light is poor, everything becomes poor. The first thing that insufficiency of light causes is known as digital noise. That's what he was trying to say. The, you know, the image becomes grainy like sand. It doesn't make sense. It's not appealing at all. So, you know, there's, there's, uh, there's, there's what the science called attenuation. Attenuation what means drop in quality based on distance. You understand? For instance, you are sending us feed or video from Sokoto, for instance. For it to get here, certainly there will be some obstacles. So it combating those obstacles to come here leads to drop in quality. So for us to maintain the quality that we want, our light should be good. That is, if you want to give us speed, that is, for instance, now you want to capture here, and thank God, if you're having like uh, that Logitech, to me, it can adjust itself and accommodate the light. You understand? And one other thing again, you should not shoot against the source of your light. For instance, somebody standing at the door and then you face him with camera, no. It gives us what, what in media is known as silhouette. Silhouette, that is, you don't see the person, you just see something black. You understand? So we should know, your source of light matters. So beauty of every production is light. And please, anything that we're showing, people are seeing. And if people are seeing it, they take us to be that. In other words, if I do a program, we're showing the background is, the background is, you know, they'll be like, ah, FCS. You understand? As I take my seat, I think few people here have come to my school. If there are, if there's anything I don't, Dosha, but that's personal. If there's anything I don't, I don't joke with, they know me. It's my decoration department. The other day I was screaming at them because they, they put backdrop with dot on it. I told them, do you know the implication of that? In graphics, anything, see, contrast, black and white, there's very big contrast. If I'm having black spot and I have just white dot, it catches, it calls my attention there. If it calls my attention and I go there, I, read, I don't read any meaning to it. It distorts me. If you are putting white there, let it pass message. What is the message? So in other words, our aesthetics matters. Please, to those of us from uh, the relay centers, anything you are sending to us, let it be appealing. We are FCS. Let us be known for excellence. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this privilege. Okay, if there's any... Okay, uh-huh. Okay, presentations. Actually, for the brief, brief bit of time, would have loved to show us, teach us some software, but I don't know. If possibly, if we can live here with um, easy worship, which is um, what we do mostly in our churches,
to show easy worship. It helps in, you can be displaying the scriptures. It comes with multiple version of Bible. It comes with multiple version of our hymns. So in case you are singing, you understand, you can be passing message while the thing is going on. If you want to pass announcement, you don't need to distract. You just write today to be scrolling. All right? We have an advanced one also known as Pro Presenter. Maybe those of you that want it, maybe we'll try and make it available before you leave your habit. Then the advanced one, I wish time would permit us so that maybe the media of every state. It's my, it's my desire to see that we go, that's a software that is being used. I think that, that's what Channel TV2 uses. It's known as um, vMix. vMix helps you, in fact, in vMix, you can be doing all at once. You want, as, as you are showing me now, to be showing Bible verse. If I say, let us turn to the book of John chapter one, verse one. Before I say, boom, you, you project it. You may want it to be showing as it's showing me also. You may want to take it away and show me the same thing. So VMIX can combine easy worship, bring your feet together and everything. And if we're introducing our speaker, it gives you chest caption, the same thing. So VMIX is advanced, but I don't know, those of us that our system can carry, maybe before we leave, we'll try and install it for us. Those of us that our system cannot carry it off, maybe till another time. So, but for the VMIX, I don't know, is there anything that, oh, sorry, for the, uh, sorry, sir, for the easy worship, I don't know if, the, if there's a, maybe if we have it, maybe we'll show us the basics. I don't know if, that, if there's need for that. There's need, there is. Otherwise, if we end up as a hard worship. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the easy worship, maybe if there's any system that will have it here, maybe we'll bring it then to Okay, if my system there's no easy worship, but I can install it now. It's something that I just installed. On. So sorry, there are some questions we take then. Take my notes. sir. Even though I'm not directly in charge of any relay center, but I think it's important. I don't know whether we still have another session of when you are relaying from game. How do we connect at the relay center? Um, okay. Is that, are we supposed to do that? Yeah. Okay, what we are doing now is what we are doing at the relay center. Okay. Is that what all you are telling us? No, I think um, she was trying to tell me before we come. I think she, they, they, raised that, they raised some question too online. Okay. So she was trying to attend to it. Yeah. She said, will there be a forum whereby we can, I want to use the word fraternize, between us and the relay centers, whereby we can be projecting and then we connect and, and test the feedback of every relay center, if possible. So I think she, they will come, I hope that they will decide okay. and they will come up with the right. date and they will make it known. Secondly, because what I was mm. asking that is, see, you started something with the four yes. and the projector, but you stopped it. Mm. Okay, so I think. And then Maybe. went to that uh, webcam. But I'm still assuming that people may not have the money to buy the webcam, yes. but they already have their phones. Yes, yes, sir. So that for me is key. What people already have, they don't need to begin with me. How can they use what they already have? Okay. Now, if it is done by a cast, and some of the people already even have a cast, so they don't even need to buy anything. Yes, sir. That means they can use their phone without thinking about a webcam, without thinking about a cast. But well, even if somebody doesn't have the card, they don't have the, uh, no, the okay, you say HD card. Uh, if it's also buy one that is under 10,000 naira, it may be cheaper. Yes, so how do you, hey, how do you join it? All you right. know, you started it, but so you I think continue. Maybe, maybe instead of doing the, the easy worship, maybe we'll just, we'll just use now, please, if I own it, let nobody connect, please. So we'll just use one phone and then connect it. Uh, please, man. Okay, sir, before you, sorry, please. Uh, my own question I want to ask, you know, you were talking about capturing some photos and selling it to people. So the question I want to ask, is it basically going to be where? Okay, okay, if you are not hearing. No, what I'm saying is that, you know, you talked about capturing some shots 
and send it to those of you who are this uh, main center. Now, I want to ask the question that basically everything that is going to be done at the main center will be asked to do with this relay connectivity with the technical people and all in charge. Will their attention will be more of the meeting when it is the online, or maybe they want to also capture maybe the Bible studies, on-site programs, mm -hmm. and send so that we get all of this so that they will know where, what they are also involved, so that they will not just think it's only. Let's, let's All right, thank you. I think um, if I okay, it's like our chairman. I'm just so sorry. I I'm suggesting, like, uh, I'm not sure if Was that even talking about uh, the sending back information? Yes. Okay. Okay, sir. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. This is how I do it. I only have to get something. Yeah, things like that. Separately. Then after that, you can talk about. Now I have the camera. This is the requirement. Okay, okay. Yes. Single line. Single line production. Let's go to that one. Single line production. If you have this and this is what you can do. If you have this and this is what you can do. And do some more complex water. Maybe some piece of highly technical. Yes. If you have a computer problem, laptop. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, we are not through. A part of the the arrangement for the presentation, like he give a general overview like this on this particular one. Um, uh, Seraph will come and talk on the issue of the background and other artistic things in terms of the um, uh, the to beautify all that we are saying as he started mentioning it. Then um, Dotun is having a, uh, a session that will talk on issue of connections. Uh, Omotola too is having that one. Then the last thing is this practical thing because we wanted, uh, we didn't want where we are doing it, we are disconnecting things and connecting like that. So it was becoming uh, to avoid like disconnections. And uh, so that's, that's part of it. So we will still look at all the practical aspect of it, like having now a general understanding of, of that one. That's the reason why we say that, our desire that all the presentation will stop at three. And so that all, mm, all the other practical things, you may need an installment, you may need to check one by one or things like that will be from three continuously. It's not that we are finishing from three, you carry your bag and go. <laughs> so a flip will not even allow you. <laughs> eh? ah, we say that there may be something you need to go and buy in town, like all these things that they talk about. It's, uh -huh. So we have that one. 
Then the 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 on uh, starting from Monday, starting from Monday next week, it will be opened. The the studio at the hosting center uh, will open her link. So there will be a test running uh, from all relay centers, getting feedback. This is what we are having. Okay, this is the gadget we are having. Uh, this is what we are trying to connect. We only have phone. Okay, we have problem with the registration on this thing. Okay, the feedback from this, how do we do it? Then even uh, from the issue of the capturing that uh, practical thing that we talked, we expect that after this presentation, each of you, you will get somebody, you use your phone. It may be of a low quality, but you will uh, have 25 seconds uh, presentation uh, that we may pick from this one, will serve even as, a, as an advert for the, uh, for the conference. So we will still call you back, sir. So there will be three or some questions. Uh, Seraph, uh, Yes, over to you about the background. Uh, bring your Chrome. Uh -huh. When when they said that we needed to go and get a Chrome, you know, oh, I was looking for something very serious. So one lady came from yes, he brought this one. I say ah, they said you should bring Chrome. So, <laughs> do you understand? So he said this is the the, the Chrome. Uh, so. Oh, but it was when we started using it now, I knew the meaning of why they say it's a chrome. Okay, so. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, are we talking about your background? Your background is very sensitive. Like it's. <laughs> Uh, your your background is is the beauty of everything you we need for everything you're going to do. For instance, now this plain white and sorry, sir. Let me use you. Could you stand, please? Sorry. Now you could see he's wearing his striped shirt. Now the camera eye with a striped shirt cast it on a white background will make him blurry. It will just be, because anything white with your light combination and then the camera gives you a blur image. So instead of seeing the shirt, we might be seeing, it's like, like something is moving on his body. He's not. <laughs> Sorry. Good. If the, any striped shirt, the camera is always sensitive. So you have to be aware of what your speaker is wearing to your background and your camera. And then your light effect on it. And secondly, if your background is black. Sorry, sir, let me, sir? No, he's wearing, I need a black. Okay, you, sir, please. No, a black shirt, just blue. You, sorry. You, you sir. Blue. No, this blue, right? Black. Sorry, I need. Thank you, sir. Now, he's wearing a black suit. And I imagine my background is black. It's just going to look like you. No, no. You'll just be seeing his face. He will dissolve in the background. It's like the background will swallow him. <laughs> Sorry, you can see. Thank you. Yes, because I, I am, I am meant to believe whatever we'll be projecting. Because we need feedback. In some areas, you have to be aware of what your background looks like. Uh, so that the background does not swallow the person and he looks like he's actually walking all these let me use the word zombie they are not touching the ground you just see movement with head because the background has swallowed the person 
So you have to be. And another thing that is very useful is your chrome. This is what we call is green. Yes, but in media, we call it the chrome material. Now, anything you cast or anything you shoot on this makes it easier for us or for you to change the background. For instance, now, you could be, okay, let me use the general news station. There are some of their backgrounds you see as if they install a building, you see the wall. Now, you can get, you can only do that when your background is this. Chrome, I won't say, that is this. What you want to understand, when you are saying chrome, is it a green material? But not should I use the word not sat? Is it satin? That one that is shiny. No, this one is sorry, sir. It's cotton, and there is some that is elastic. It draws. And then when you green, it should be green. <laughs> Sorry, and it should be green. So it shouldn't be this satin, right? Yeah, it shouldn't be this shiny. And again, your background, avoid anything that has to do with satin. Because on its own, it's shiny. And then imagine your light bouncing on it. So it should be... So that, yes, that is it. You should you should avoid having anything to do with certain. Thank you, sir. You should avoid anything doing with uh, of anything on your background that has to do with certain because of its silky and its shiny nature. And for you to be able to manipulate your background, let me use that word, you need a chrome material, which is green. So you could use curtain or that one that for tailors, I think they call it, um, is it velvet or something? It's a bit drawy. And set also, the way this backdrop is straight, when you're placing it, it has to be straight. Like it shouldn't have any wrinkle, one side should not be bendy, you shouldn't have, no, vertically straight, horizontally straight. Have your background set. That is if you intend, for example, now to spice up the beauty of your background, you could pick up some other things from the net. You will use the chrome so that you'll be able to fuse in those images for us to see. You can as well put us America self. You think as if, the relay center is happening from America, but that's all those dis display options you have with your your chrome. Ah, uh, I think practically that's all. Sir, so, okay. We are talking about the clothes the guy is wearing. Ordinarily, I do not expect you because the guy is the one that you wear. So, for the sake of our background. If we use a drone, we don't need any other information. If we blend any clothes, it doesn't need to be very It won't, you know, okay, there is what we call color matching, and there are color contrast. And also the camera, too. The chrome is meant for you to, that's why I made an example of having, when you're watching news, you could see them with a globe moving. Now, actually, let's say that particular scene was shot on a chrome. So you could remove the green to put in those other graphics. That's why. But there are color contrast. There's the color you will wear, and then it's just like, let me say, the camera will, it will burn. Yes, you are not in, you're not of the monopoly to know what he's wearing. But that is why you're, you're having the ability to be creative. So you play with your background, so that whatever he's wearing, matches with whatever your background. So that it doesn't, with the consciousness that the background does not dissolve him, the camera does not fight against what he's wearing. I don't know if, so that's where you have to know your color, we call it Roy beef. 
now know your colors and what matches and what what we call is it um, there's this word they also say when you wear color combination thank you color riot, color riot thank you so much your colors shouldn't riot themselves so you should know how to mix a harsh and a calm color and a cool color so that whatever it is in your background it sends the same and a beautiful message to the camera which automatically we could get did i answer you thank you any more what okay avoid anything green and yellow avoid wearing green and yellow don't come before the camera wearing green or yellow Sir? okay even if it's the best color for the sake of the camera borrow or buy another color it's just like okay let me use the word the camera enemy color uh, you don't want. imagine imagine i place him on this Imagine his clothes. You know, uh, here I want to ask a question. Are you getting me? This yes. color that we are talking about. Yes. This color, some people are talking about. You know, you say we should avoid green and yellow. Is it basically for the studio? Uh, studio uh, hosting center. Center. Because you know, when you talk about that, maybe you say for camera. Because I know that Brazil, they follow a philosophy of you know, and the, the television fix it, it comes out fine. Yes, but we we are talking about based on you will be feeding us with we need info too. Good. It's just for the sake of let's say the output we need. Okay. You help us to avoid okay. green and yellow. Okay, let me sir. Excuse sir. Um please come. No, him with green. Right, <laughs> <laughs> So now we can't even show it to you, sir. So now the problem is, is if there's a way you could see, okay, if there's a way you could see from the camera lens what is producing with him. I can't project because there's no signal. Now, camera is following the now. There's an effect you're getting from the camera. I don't know, but it's not how I could project. But if you could, yes, sir. No, how it wouldn't be projected. You have to keep this on. You appear. You will be so. Yes, brother. Sir? Am I dissolved? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, he asked the question. Say, for example, we can call the speakers and ask them what's going on. For example, the person is very so when we are trying to explain to you, say we can just manipulate and play around our colors. That's according to you. So if we are using this as a background, just like you give us as a sample, and the person comes with a color that of gravity, something like you, how do we see to remove the background and fix another color or just make it less? So that we okay, it. you if I say remove the background, how fast can you remove the background so you can do it? But I think a color that goes well with the camera is black. Like it's black. Any, like a very plain but black background goes well on the camera. But the only thing also, what if he comes wearing black? 
Good. Now that's another thing. But there is a bot to wearing black. He can as well show using the black. He doesn't just go to the screen. Like he doesn't. Let's say this is your background. And he's here. He's not gonna, you will see him. But when he comes a bit, let's say two feet away, you'll be able to distinguish the background and what he's wearing. So you'll be able to see a person as if he's wearing, so you make sure he does not go anywhere close to the background. He stays at most two feet away. That the camera will pick him and at the same time the background. So we will know, oh, he's wearing a black cloth or the background is black. And at the same time, to make it easier, you could just have your black background and put some Ankara. So that when he comes with his black, the Ankara is there to project him out. So you could just, that's why I said clear around, be creative. There's this light, I don't know the name, but it's, it's, Oh, it's no, it's it's like wire, but it's a light. Is it this Christmas wire? No, I don't know. But there's this light. It comes like a wire. Now you could use that light to play around your background. The yard I asked was one five. Have a plain background. Use that light. Just make something certain. And it just make your job. Your background is good. That if it's black. But why I say use the chrome is because of creativity. If you need to, that's all. That's it. Thank you. Okay, sir. You're welcome. Just center. Um, customize the bag. We can do that. For instance, maybe your record. Or maybe you are out to do a record and then you're transmitting it like sometimes the station uses its own background. Even though that recording is not directly from the studio. So we can customize a background for our end. For instance, maybe my day center, we are not using the flows for. So there's a way that the transmission could, when it comes for you, shoot it, mm -hmm. you'll be able to customize the background that with the help of graphics you can be able to do. Yes, that is also that is also possible. So it's more like you're saying at at the posting center. Oh, we are, as far as background is concerned, let me steal my boss's word. I think we are good to go. So all we need is don't, if you're saying it is going to look like, okay, let me just go and shoot anywhere and then send the bulk of the work for, for us. But we want it to be easier for transmission. That is why we're asking you have these things for those that maybe the relay centers are actually Close doors. Yes, sir. Okay. I I want to I think it's good to clarify this thing so that we know what we expected of us. I think that most of this transmission issue is with the hosting center. All the problem of this background, you have let me say 90% of the problem. You, uh -huh. In what what aspect do you expect the relay centers to be transmitting to you that they will need this background? When we are doing our Bible study, the person will not stand on the background. It will be in groups. That is likely what we will send to you to see that Bible study is going on in the GSS center, you know, like that. We don't need the background. We will not go and arrange the student by the background. <laughs> if we are doing seminar, they will be in small, small groups. We will not need background. We don't have main speakers that we will see now. Okay, possibly maybe the one like mission speaker, mission channel, but we are not expected to transmit it. We are not going to be online at that time. 
when we are doing mission challenge, it's just for us. When we are doing Bible study, it's for us. When we are so bored, when you are doing main stuff, we will link up with you. When you are doing uh, all those plenary talks, we will link up with you. And we are showing, we will show the congregation mainly. So the, I want us to that people not get uh, confused and distracted. I think the background team may not really affect the centers as such. But if I'm not uh, very correct, it's good to explain and clarify to our people. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, the most of the demand will be on the hosting center. But we will need a feedback system. And that's why you need to have all this understanding. If, for instance, your own is coming very poor and the whole world is seen, the, the team that will be uh, broadcasting it may not be able to use your own. And there may be that kind of, why is it that they didn't even show our own or something like that? So it may be just a flash. It, it may be just a flash. It may be uh, for some seconds. It may be maybe. Uh, it may not be up to thirty seconds uh, for any uh, this thing, but it will be coming as a flash. And so that anything that we do, we do it as standard. Um, it, it, we are trying to to learn this, and so that it will help us. Most of these things we may not even, uh, uh, it's not that we are using it all, all there. But if it is done at a standard, any feedback that you are given, it will help the team will be able to be reflecting this one flashing, flashing, flashing like that, uh, that you will be able to do it. Then apart from that, um, you will be doing a local recording where you will keep it. And you may want to edit it. It may be an, an, in an archive where you may want to upload it even on a, a website. We have a website. So it's a, a, that one that will be on the website, it's going to be a full one that will be put maybe from so so so, from so so so, from so so so, like that. Anybody can, can now check. So that is it. Then on the timetable, you will see that online and on site. But for the hosting center, it's going to be running throughout. Even the one that you see on site, we will be getting feedback because there are some people that will be joining online. For instance, during the College of Prayer, Imeka Udoeba success from US, he was there all throughout. He didn't miss even single part of it. So there may be people that may be watching uh, online. They may not be on site. They may not even be in this country. So at the hosting center, it's going to be continuous uh, running. It's not that it's only when the one that is on site, okay, uh, uh, online, we flash. When it is on site, we go off like that. It's going to be continuous. So even at that point, maybe you are running Bible study we may need a, a feedback so that they will now know that, okay, globally and in, in nationwide, I mean, uh, it, the, the conference is, is going on, okay? So, but as from Monday, as I said, we, it's going to be, the link is going to be open and uh, keep testing it, asking questions, uh, clarifying things, and we continue. Um, if you have questions, you can keep some of the questions. Uh, we have uh, two more things to, to present. Uh, Omotola uh, will come and talk about issue of Zoom and some of the applications uh, before uh, Dotun will now come. Then we go into the practical session. Uh, if you must ask a question, Bawa Allah. Okay. okay. Just a little bit, I, I noticed that uh, someone made a suggestion about uh, when posting or feeding back the need for the name of the center. And I think we need to adopt a unified code of sending names. 
Uh, they, they will handle all that one. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Omotola is the one behind uh, most of these things that uh, it's coming, uh, most of the broadcast from the national office. Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, I hope we are all having a good time. Please, I would encourage us not to be tired at this point because all of these things are very important and we really need them. And I know that all of us, we want to have a smooth transmission during the conference. And I pray that God will really help us to achieve that in Jesus' name. I'm going to be starting with um, ISP, the issue of internet connectivity. ISP is Internet Service Provider. One thing that is very key to us, talking about transmitting relay centers, we need a stable network, good internet connectivity. Now I'm going to be listing some of the devices that we can use to ensure stable internet connection. The first one we can use um, our router, there's what we call, I know many of us must have worked with or seen a router. Now for a router, you have different um, routers for different network providers. Now choosing your network providers, it is very important to do a survey of your location, to know the network that is very stable, very okay. For example, in my own house, I always have problem with MTN network. It is not as strong as when I get to the office. There are some places where you have very strong Airtel network, very stable. Some places MTN, some places Nine Mobile. So you need to do a survey of your location. So it is important that relay centers, if by now you don't know the network that is okay or that will be good for your center, it is important as soon as you get back, get do, do a test to know the network that will be okay. And our advice, there are some things that are beyond our control. One of them is network, network availability. We see a lot of times you, you would have even done your survey, you'll be sure that, okay, this particular network is okay here. But all of a sudden, you just discover that the, the network is off because there are lots of factors that contribute to that. Sometimes the weather can change. So it is important, in fact, very, very compulsory that we don't rely on just one network provider. Please, all relay centers, use at least two network providers, at least two. Let's not rely on one. And when you are using two network providers, don't wait till when one fails, then you start to try to connect. That time lapse is something that you might not be able to, you won't even be able to regain unless your viewers go back and rewatch. So what I am saying is this, I have Airtel, I have MTN. The best thing to do, I do that mostly on my laptop. I make sure that my laptop recognizes both. So yes, so that when one goes out, automatically it picks the second one that is available. Now, when you are connecting your, okay, we've not connected up with this. 
Please, um, for this particular presentation, yesterday we had somebody that volunteered, my brother over there, he would also be assisting for this because we want this to be as practical as possible. Right. Okay. Where is the brush? Okay. Yes. okay thank you. So you will also be assisting okay. with this. So when you are connecting, can you all see my cursor? Yes. Okay. Now I want to connect. Let me choose this. You see this box here, yeah, connect automatically make sure that you tick that box so that your system or your device recognizes that particular um, device that you want to connect. So when one goes out automatically, as long as that other device is on, it picks it. You don't need to start coming to connect. So that laps so that people will not lose out on any part of the program. So that's important. Now we've talked about router, using router. That's one device that we can use, the router. We are not here with a router that have showed us. But, a, a, okay, let, another one is, another device we can use is a MiFi. A MiFi device. A MiFi device is usually smaller than a router. The coverage of a MiFi device is lower than a router. A MiFi device is what we have been using there. You also have a MiFi device for different network providers. So based on your survey that you have done, yes. Thank you, sir. This is a MiFi device. This one for Airtel, it costs 12,000 Naira. And this can, can connect 10 users at the same time. 10 users at the same time. A router connects more. A router connects, I think, 25 to 30 users at the same time. Then another um, way of connecting your internet is you can also use hotspots. Hotspots, you get it from your phone. If you want to use your phone, your mobile phone to get network or internet connection rather. On your phone, you go, you, you slide down, then you see your hotspots on your hotspots, then on your laptop here, yeah, can we see this Wi-Fi section? Now, if I off this, I won't see the available networks. So if your laptop, if you are connecting that day and maybe you are trying to connect, check your Wi-Fi setting. If your Wi-Fi setting is off, you will not see your phone hotspots. So if your Wi-Fi setting is on, you see the available networks, then you connect. That's the use of um, hotspots. Now, for the use of hotspots, I would advise that whatever SIM card you are buying or subscribing data plan on for the purpose of this conference, please, we can get dedicated SIM cards that calls will not come through. If it has been decided that for this center, what we want to use is hotspotting. We want to hotspot from the phone. Let's use a SIM card that will not allow phone calls. So we can just use another SIM that you know is not popular to people to make calls. Now, another device for connection is the ODU. Some of us here, we saw the ODU yesterday. The ODU is an outdoor unit. You also have it for different network providers. The ODU covers a wide range. So the ODU, the reason why it's called outdoor unit is there's a part of it that you hang, you can mount, then the other parts connect. You can either connect wirelessly 
or you connect with your LAN cable. Yes, sir. So that's for the issue of internet connectivity. It is very key when we are talking about transmission. No internet connectivity, we can't get anything. So if we want to, that's the first step, getting it right. Our internet, let's choose the right network provider. Let's not risk it that, okay, I'm sure that I tell you, these things are beyond our control. And I would also advise at this point that all technocrats, please, at all relay centers, it is important that we pray. No media person handles camera, handles laptop without prayer. When we are coming for conferences like this, the devil knows that we are trying to release some captives from him. He won't be happy about it. So you might have planned your network, everything, all of a sudden you just see no network. Funny thing, another person at the conference, you might even be seeing network on that person's phone. And on a router which is supposed to provide you a better network is gone. So it is important because mostly people feel or they think the, what I'm coming to do is the technical part. So my spiritual life should just be kept aside. No. It is important that we are prayerful for that. I pray that God will help us. We've been praying and I believe that God will really help us to have stable network by in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, since we've taken care of issue of network, another very important application that we'll be using during the conference is our Zoom application. The Zoom application is an application for video conferencing, just like we are going to be doing during our triennial conference. So the Zoom, for our Zoom, for those that do not have the Zoom set up. Now, for relay centers that will be using laptops, it is important that we install the Zoom. Now, for those that do not have the Zoom set up, we are going to provide that. When I get to that point, I will explain to us some resources. We are going to make some resources available, including some software resources. So we are going to I'll give us how we can assess those resources. Please, as soon as you get these resources, install them. Don't wait till a day to conference. These things, they act funny sometimes. So don't wait to a day to conference or some minutes to conference before you start installing and you begin to discover a lot of issues coming up. And at that point already, you might be tense up, pressure, people are waiting on you and all of that. So as soon as these resources start coming, let's make use of them, install them. So for the Zoom, I'm going to teach us two ways of connecting to a Zoom meeting. You can either connect using the meeting information, the ID and the passcode, or you connect through the link provided. But for the purpose of this conference, our advice, in fact, we want all relay centers to connect using meeting ID and passcode. On this platform that I said I will be showing more information on later, we are going to provide the the meeting ID and the passcode. And please, at this point, I would also want to say that this meeting ID and passcode that we'll be providing, once you are to log in that day, we just don't allow the pressure because sometimes with numbers when you're entering digits, uh -huh. Don't mix, just try to be calm and just enter your, uh -huh. because sometimes you can miss digit and you will think, hey, is it the network? Is this was not connecting? It's not connecting. We've had Zoom meetings, our people calling us, it's not connecting. Is the link not correct? The link is correct. The ID is just take your time, 
double check. Most times when I'm entering digits, before I enter, I check the digits multiple times. Like I go, sometimes I check left to right, right to left. I just check my digit to be sure that I entered the right digit before I press my enter key. So let's also ensure that. So like I said, all relay centers will be joining using the meeting ID and the passcode. Now, I would like to start from the scratch. If you have your Zoom already installed, you can make your Zoom app application show at your tax bar. When I'm talking about the tax bar, yeah, this area, yeah. So that you won't have to go and start searching and looking for it. Or if you don't have it there, you can search for your Zoom. Yeah, this search, this thing here, you can search for Zoom. Can we all see the Zoom there? Okay, hey, then you can open your Zoom. But if you want to pin here, you see pin to what I did is, well, after searching, right click and pin to tax bar. Now you have it on your tax bar. Then open our Zoom. Now, what we want to do is join a meeting. Once you click that join a meeting, it will ask you for the meeting ID. So for this meeting, let me use the ID for this one. 992 Nine nine two seven nine zero three nine six nine nine two seven yes correct this is correct yes now can we see here your name this field here your name now we don't want because mostly the the laptops that will be used at the centers. Some, some of us have joined other Zoom meetings and we have signed up with our own personal name. On that day, we don't want to be seen Ibukonlua or Motola. We want to see the names of the relay centers. We already sent details of relay centers to us. That name, we don't want to see um, personal names. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. We don't want your name or the owner of the laptop's name. So that it will be easy for us to know, to identify who is on the meeting and to easily get feedback. So here is where you can put that, type the name. So let's say we have now, let me give us this convention so that we don't just have maybe a particular zone decides to put Zuru zone, then at the end, that's where I put FCS, or Zuru zone, comma, FCS Nigeria. We want a unique convention. So the convention is FCS, Zuru zone. But in a situation where there are two. I'm, I'm going there. FCS Zuru zone. Are we there? Are we together? Yes. Now, in brackets, the name of the center. This is what. I just said.
This is what can we see the convention? Instead of by zone. Okay. okay. So there are things that water needs to let people know that we have. Officers operate, the strength of officers is at the total level. And if we are in the officer, you don't know that there is a zoom. Then it's a problem. One, oh, wait, no. wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Secondly, at the registration panel that you are going to use that online, all those things are already stated out already based on states. And the zone and the center where you are going to register. So, what we want to do this is for us to know that out of this registration column that we have, this particular person is coming from this zone that we already have recorded in our archive. And it make it easier for us to know that this center is from here, this center is from here, this center is from here. And then we show, and you saw that you saw yourself, oh, this is my place. You know, other people know that there's Zulu also there. But let's also, so that we don't clumsy the address right. It will be too long. I cannot show up. Yes, I think uh, what we are making is uh, particularly for viewer friendliness. People will appreciate to know where this particular center is in Nigeria map. Quite okay in your own catalog to have a word placed in this uh, school. But we are saying that for the benefit of, like in case you are going to flash what is happening in the particular city, how about even the centers in the, the particular state, number, like for example, Bauchi 1, Bauchi 1, then Chapa Oliwa. Uh, center, the rallying center. You don't have to put it like the rallying center. Bauchi one, Ogoro. So already we know that Ogoro is in Bauchi state. But you don't say Zulu, uh, Zulu zone. If you might just be wondering where exactly is Zulu. So that's just our All right, thank you, sir. So since we have, this is not, this naming convention, just like we have suggested, it, the day has not come. So now, since we have agreed that we go by state, we go by state. And the name of the state. Yes. So is that generally accepted? So it will be FCS. FCS No need to even put states. Just put FCS Zamfara. Uh -huh. We already know it's FCS conference. So when you just say KB state. GSS Zoom, okay. Sampara State, GSS, uh, Jan, Jan So do we get that convention now? KB, no need for state, please. Let's get that out. We know Zamfara is a state. FCT. Yes, sir. That will be the last contribution for it because we still have a long way to go.
So as agreed now, this is what we have agreed to use. States, we are using states, not zones. So for example, you have Kirby states, then the name of the center. I think you can do it. So, that's, so you click, once you have provided your meeting ID, your name, join. Now that day, in case, just in case, because of the pressure or the tension, you forget to enter the unique name, that name that we just agreed. Don't, don't be tensed and you just quickly close the app and go and start all over. No, once you join, there's provision for you to rename. Yes. So if you forget to, to enter that name, there's no problem. So just make sure that once you join the meeting, it takes you to the meeting area, rename. Even from our end, that's one of our responsibilities. We make sure that all our centers are properly named. If we discover that a center is not properly named, we rename from our end. But to make the work easier for us, please try to name. If you forget, rename. Okay, want to use the joint. Okay, sorry. Nine nine. Nine nine. For this meeting. Three seven one two nine. In senior staff group, they this thing is that. So once, please, can I use my? So once you click that join, it it asks for it takes you to where you are to enter the passcode. Yes, I can see you. I'm not connected to any camera. Okay. This one is not connected. So once you get to that area where you are to add your passcode, you enter the passcode and you connect. So you connect. Okay. Add it and you connect. Enter the passcode correctly. It takes you to the meeting area. Straight. It takes you straight to the meeting area. So when you get to the meeting area, another comes up. Another thing that comes up on your laptop. You will see a download telling you to join the computer module. Laptop is not internet. Now, 
Ich bin wieder unter dem Kinder gelaufen.
So all the coordinators, technical, technical, they can join that telegram. So you can actually can have any problem. The reason we decide to have this group is mostly the off center will be busy with a lot of things. So if we are saying that we want to answer all your questions, we we'll only be deceiving ourselves. But we know that sometimes when we're in a community like that, that's in one If let me say I have a problem, I encounter the problem at the start of my sector, and I was able to overcome that problem. Now, as I said, if I can't see that problem now, once they put it on that group, people without the most dense are replying, most of them encounter such problems that are sent so we want to pass this on. That's why we are doing it together. Then we also be providing a number for calls only. Yes. In case of any problem, emergencies, or uh, something you just need to bring that sent to you can call. Don't see if any line that you designate for calls only, make sure it's for calls. If you send an SMS, you might not be there. You are hanging, waiting for response. So, any any line you say, call only, call only. Anyone who says SMS only, SMS only. So, we are going to be uh, sending out those uh, information, giving out those information. And also, like Mr. Draga earlier said, before the next week, these, these resources we are, we are talking about. Like I said, they are less start getting them down. But from next week, we start having our session. When we let the class start from there, we was we was the center. We are going to have like a demo. So if while we are doing demo, you do not have your Zoom ready, and you are not just wait to be there. So there are some problems that you have to have been encounter and be able to. Assault for that thing. So it's important for us to vote. Another thing about technical for us to vote. Technical personnel is sensitive to smell. You might be in a place, tables are melting. If you are not sensitive, you will not know. You don't discover that your lack of doubt is what the table has been melting and smelling. Okay. We want to know specifically the time each of the, the day in the week that is the same next week. We want to know the day and the specific time. Yes, about the devil, that's what you're asking. Yes, about the devil, please. I want you to give us the time because we are too busy to meet as leaders of the But today, from now, I'm going to give us that telegram link. Once you join all the information from now, please, it is important. If you are using the telegram, if you go to Western Senior Staff and, and have a question, you want to. Because we already have a channel now. So we have now another person tomorrow. We go to extend and when are we when is the devil they talked about during please join that telegram? That's where we pass out all the necessary information, the resources where problems arise. So from the telegram, we are going to send across the days for the general. No, it's because I've not been following the example because I've gone the legacy. You are telling me
We don't want any form of delay. We know that delay sometimes is out of our control. So when it comes, we want to have minimal, like minimal delay. We don't want delay of one hour, two hours, 30 minutes, and the relay center is stranded. They don't know what else to do because they are trying to reach us, or maybe because they sent the complaint through a wrong channel. Thank you for your attention. I, I think, think that is all that I am to address. So at this point, do we have any question? Sorry. Can we take that question after our lunch, please? Please. Let's put it right. Let's just uh, so quickly and come back and ask you. Don't eat your hands or write a question. Or you want to sit down. When you come back, we'll give at least 10 minutes for answering those questions. Then we'll do the last presentation so for what we have to do and how to Please don't forget it. Just write it down. Don't eat your food and forget it. I think um, now we'll call it in charge of life. Quick, uh, we'll close here for so we, uh, this is going to be more like a working week where we we'll can continue on our work immediately. So, can we encourage our students? So, we'll call our student.
ada kawan ada kawan.
Okay. Just an order. All right. Uh, because anything that is happening here, what will I say? So the current version of the yes. Yes. So let me go. Yes. 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 My easy watch is not craft. They wanna have okay, just let me have that. The easy watch. My easy watch here is I need to need let me to, send let me this. send another one. Okay. OBS and I need you came off. Food does it. Next. Okay. <laughs> any other stream lab OBS. Yeah, any other one that can because you raise it quite uh, yes. just copy them. Yes. You can no, be you can be on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. You can be on yes, I'm saying that Telegram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because because they will be they will be, read, they, will be they might be read them they might be feedback and reaction on almost all the platforms. Mm. It closer attention. Yeah, closer attention. We need somebody, if you are here, you are here. Yes. Comes with wife and baby. Yes, yes, she yes. comes with wife. Mm -hmm. yes. That's how it is. Can you say this? Sir? It's seamless. It's to connect with it. Just to connect. This cast is with it, but you must have a good phone. Ah, uh, that's a thing. To enjoy it. Yes. People for me, we don't like Uzakash. And it's machine. How would end this meeting? We didn't end the meeting. 